in search of a little relief. This is Tales from the Baseball Thesaurus. I'm Jesse Goldberg Strassler, and let's talk relief pitching. Let's talk about your pen pals down to the bullpen. If a hitter is inserted into the game for the starter, though, it's called a pinch hitter. So why isn't a relief pitcher coming in called a pinch pitcher? And the answer is, yes, they were actually originally called pinch pitchers when relief pitchers first started being used. They were pitchers that you used in a pinch, like a pinch hitter is a hitter needed in a pinch. Well, now we have specialized roles for relief pitchers. Uh, relief pitchers can be the closer at the end of the game to close the game to nail down the win. It can be the setup man to set up the relief pitcher pitching in the seventh, the eighth innings. Middle reliever works in the middle innings. A long reliever works long innings, multiple innings. A short reliever works only one inning or so at a time. A mop-up man is used when the situation has devolved into a mess and you just need somebody to mop it all up. They can wear it too, and that is giving up hits and runs and staying in long after the game has been decided because you don't want to have to burn another pitcher. Like you don't want to burn a match. You use a pitcher, you can't use them the next day, so don't burn them. It's about that mop-up man just taking as much of that mess as they possibly can. And maybe you have to go to a position player after that point. There's a gas can. A gas can pours fuel on the fire, takes a bad situation, and makes it even worse. Um, but when we talk really good relief pitching, when we talk about a pitcher who really gets the job done, that's where we come back to the term a fireman. Fireman is the best pitcher in the bullpen, the relief ace. Now, perhaps the greatest relief performance of all time, you've got to go back to 1917, Ernie Shore shoring things up for Boston. The Boston pitcher that day was the Babe. Babe Ruth was on the mound but he didn't like the home plate umpire Brick Owens' decisions. Ball one, ball two, ball three, Babe's ire growing as the leadoff batter Ray Morgan got himself into an advantageous count. And when ball four was declared by home plate umpire Owens, Babe roared off the mound and socked home plate umpire Owens in the nose. Babe received the heave-ho, in came Ernie Shore. Ray Morgan tried to steal second, was thrown out, and Ernie Shore set down the next 26 batters. Perfection for Ernie, a no-hitter for Boston. And that spells relief. That's a pen pal for you. And this has been your tale from the Baseball Thesaurus.